Hey, Buki, Mike Houck here. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. We've got uh, several members of our local media core here. We're going to start with questions and we'll begin with Joe Bettner of the Norman Transcript and then we'll go to Eric Bailey. Yes, sir. Joe, are you on? Okay, Joe, Joe may have stepped away. Eric, are you ready? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, Buki, thanks again for doing this. I appreciate it. Um, the Big 12 is allowing a social message on your jerseys and we'll have a unity sticker on the helmets. For you, how important is it to use this platform to, to share the social justice message? Uh, really, it's, it's, it's very important with the, with the world going on around us right now. Uh, the University of Oklahoma and, and its football program, we've, we've preached the, the word unity so much, so I think that's the perfect word for us. And uh, I'm, I'm all in on it, definitely. Thanks, Buki. Okay, let's go to Jason Kersey of The Athletic and then Ryan Aber. Hey, Buki. Um, I, I know this probably isn't a topic you're eager to discuss, but I feel like we have to ask, what have you learned over the last several months after the way the season ended for you last year? Uh, I got to take a step back and reflect, you know, on, on a lot of things, you know, just uh, – the LSU game, you know, just just things, how things ended. But I believe that uh, as a man, you know, you have to you have to take your 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 L's and turn them to lessons. And I feel as if I did that, I understand where I was wrong at, and uh, I've grown from it. I've become a, you know a, a better player, you know, and overall just a better man from that from that experience. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Okay, Ryan Aber with the Oklahoman, and then John Hoover. Yeah, Buki. Uh, this year at this time, or last year at this time, excuse me, uh, turnovers were such an emphasis for, for this defense in Alex Grinch's first year. Yes, sir. Those didn't come, I know, in the, the numbers that y'all would have liked. Uh, what is it that you feel like will, will improve those numbers this year? And uh, how different has that emphasis looked now in year two? Uh, really, the, I would say the difference would be the players preaching preaching that emphasis. You know, last year you would say Coach Grinch would just say it, you know, and he would be the only person or, or our staff would say it. But more so now, it's, 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 it's players holding ourselves accountable and making sure that we don't come off the field without a takeaway. That's, that's like a prime emphasis that us players have put in together. Appreciate it. Of course. Okay, John Hoover with SI Sooners and then Kerry Murdoch. Hey, Buki. I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, too. So you, you talked about your desire to grow from the Peach Bowl. When you're going into year two of the defense and you've had this crazy off season that you've had, yes, sir. it's like there's a million different ways you can grow. I'm wondering if you can describe your own personal story, what you, what you chose to do, what you decided to do for yourself to make yourself either better mentally, study more, uh, stronger physically, whatever it was, what steps did you actually take to do that? Uh, specifically, my film study, just making sure I'm ahead of the game, uh, just, just being, being aware of, of, of situations and, and, and taking, a, taking a, an extra step in my game where I can just grow as a complete football player. You know, from the physical standpoint, we got after it. You know, we got after that was that was a big emphasis during the quarantine, and we stayed in there every single day. We were, we were grinding, but as far as as far as the mental aspect, I feel as if I took a big jump mentally just in that film study, just understanding what I'm looking at, you know, understanding offenses, being being a, a, a one time I used to be a receiver, so just trying to understand what a receiver is trying to do, uh, just different concepts. I would say, really, just in the film study, I had to give one thing. I feel like year two is is coming along for you in, in Alex Grinch's scheme? Does it feel like a different mentality, a different approach for everybody? Uh, like Coach, Coach said, you know, we're not the same players he coached a year ago. I, I would definitely agree with that. That's, that's something that we actually put on tape. You know, that's not, that's not just a word thing. We actually put it on tape. So we can back that up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Okay, Kerry Murdoch with Sooner Scoop and the Sports Animal, and then Brandon Drum. Hey, Buki, um, you know, from the moment you got here, uh, you know, in practice, coaches raved about you, um, talked about, you know, how, how your, your football IQ and all that. What do you think has been the biggest challenge going, taking all that stuff that was so impressive on the practice field and putting it in on game day? What's been the biggest challenge there for you? 
Uh, biggest challenges as far as as far as what specifically, sir? Just being able to you know be impressive play after play on the uh, on you know during I games say, or in practice. You just got to do it. You just got to put it on tape. You know, you just you know whatever you do in practice, that's what you're gonna do in the game. You're gonna practice like you play. And I firmly believe that once you just put a million reps in, you know, that's the only thing you're going to revert to when you get out there in the game. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Okay, Brandon Drum with OU Insider and then Garen Emig. Yeah, I asked Trey this question. Last year going up against Spencer and as a scout team quarterback, what, what's the growth that you've seen between the 2019 version, the scout team version, to the version of Spencer as the starter, and yeah. how much, how much competition did y'all do one on ones that you that you really got to see, just him challenging, I guess you guys as the defense as well. Right. Uh, last year he was he was our scout team quarterback, and I seen I seen him do a lot of you know just just football football plays. You know he would just players would break down, and he could use his feet when he had to. You know, he could, cross, he could throw the ball cross field if he needed to. It was just whatever he needed to do, he could get it done. You know, we were seeing that last year. You know, we were seeing that when he was just, you know, our scout team quarterback. So I'm very excited to, to see him in, in, in Coach Rodney's offense and, and execute to his plans. I'm, I'm very excited to see it. <laughs> he sure, I'll, I'll definitely say that he makes us a lot better. You know, we, we make him better. He makes us better competing every single day. Appreciate it, baby. Of course. We'll go to Garen Emig of the Tulsa World and then James Hale. Good to see you again, Buki. How you doing? All well, sir. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks. That's right. You, you have been asking, uh, I asked Trey and Isaiah this, and I'd certainly want your take. Um, a lot of you guys have, have gone beyond football to express yourselves, especially on social media, about things that are happening in the world the last yes. several weeks and months. But what I want to know from you is how important it is for your fans to, uh, to, to get you beyond just the field, you know, not, not just see you as a player for the Sooners on Saturday, but to understand where you're coming from as a, as a human being? Um, I, think, I think for the fans, you know, it's, it's, it's understanding, you know, that, that it's, in, it's very uncomfortable conversations, but they need to be had. You know, this is the world that we live in right now. It's moving faster than ever. And the only way that we can, we can kind of come together and figure this thing out is communication. And I feel as if that would be the best thing that everybody can do and get on the same page and move on one, as one accord. Because that's how, that's how you get things done. You know, you, gotta, you can't move as just single, single-handed. I feel as if coming together, communicating, having those tough conversations and, and getting your feelings and, and your expressions out and your experiences out, you know, just putting everything on the table, that's what, that's, that will keep us moving forward. Sure. Do you, real quick, do you think that that connection is happening between you guys and, and the fan base, or does there need to be, does that need to be firmed up a little bit for them to, to really feel you? As far as us speaking to like fans specifically? Yeah, well, yeah, or just your followers on Twitter, social media, uh, but but more generally talking about your fans and your interactions with them, how how those have gone. Uh, really, we just as as players, we with the things that we put out on Twitter. You know, we, we, we try to speak on things that, that are actually, you know, meaningful, you know, in, in this world right now. And, and I feel as if, you know, uh, we've been able to do that. You know, and the fans have reacted to us correctly. Some, you know, some, you know, speak, speak their mind as well. So they're going to they're gonna speak on what they believe in. And I feel as if, it's just, like I said, it's a, it's a conversation where, where, where I'm a young man. You know, I don't know who it is behind the, uh, the Twitter screen, but uh, I, hopefully they're men too and we can speak about it, you know, and, and move forward. Okay, very cool. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, James Hale, KREF, and then Keegan Renault. <clears throat> Hi, Buki. It's great to see you, man. And uh, too, man. I've heard great things about your offseason, so I'm glad things are going well for you. Thank you. Uh, Coach Grinch says your position is really important. It's a little unique. Talk about that because you seem to be born to play it, and you played it really well. And, uh, you know, who else is developing at this position? Because it's always seemed to be Buki and Buki and you know, it's going to be Buki again. So, you know, who's behind you in this spot? Uh, right now, uh, I don't want to specifically say, you know, who, who's all in line, but it, everybody in the, in, the safety, in the safety meeting room right now can play that nickel position. We're all right. getting coached. We're all getting coached as if, you know, by Coach Grinch, and we all speak the same language. And really it's just understanding your rules and applying them. You know, we, we, Coach, Coach Grinch practices at a high speed, high intensity, and he, and he puts situations 
in your face so that you know how to react to it. So really, I, I'm a firm believer in that anybody in our safety group right now can, can play nickel. We're all developed. We all can speak the, the nickel language. Thanks, Ricky. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll go to Keegan Renault of Sooners Wire and then Bob Prisbillo. Ricky, obviously no one knows hype probably better than you do. What, what advice would you give Spencer Rattler heading into his first game with him being at the top of these Heisman charts and all these things heading into his uh, first start on Saturday? <laughs> hype is his talk, man. You just got to go do it. You know, you just got to go do it at the end of the day. You got to put it on tape. That's all that counts. Nothing to talk about. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, Bob Prisbilla with Sooner Scoop and then Joe Bettner. Hey, Bob, you're, you're muted, Bob. I don't think I hear you, sir. <laughs> yeah, Buki, just, just sort of wondering what Trey Norwood has meant to you guys uh, coming back on and off. Oh, he, that's my guy. That's my brother, man. Uh, right when I got here at OU, he took me under his wing, really. And, and, and we've been, you know, close every day. We talk every single day on and off the field. It just He's just a big brother, man. He just does things correctly, you know, and he just – he's just a person you want to be around. You know, when he when he was down last year, he was still a person that was here at all costs, making sure that his efforts were, were shown and present. You know, and when he's, when he's back up, you know, it's the same guy. He's the same guy at all costs. You know, he's a stand-up. He's a true He's a true dude, you know. That's T. Wood. <laughs> That's my brother. Okay, our final question will be from Joe Bettner, the Norman transcript. Uh, Buki, I just want to ask you quickly about the, you know, Keegan just asked you about kind of the hype that you experience. And, you know, more so just on the front of being a freshman that's being thrusted into a starting role for the guys this year, the young DBs that might get thrown into that fire just for whatever reason, is there any advice you could give them that you wish you could have given yourself that age? Um, when it's your time, you know, you got to show up, you know, you're putting that fire for a reason, you know, and, it, and it's, and it's, it's for you to, it's for you to experience. It's for you to get, get those players under your belt and just go out there and have fun, man. I say that. Just go out there, have fun, play football. It's still 100 yards and 53 and a third. It's the same old game I've been playing my entire life, just a little bit quicker and, you know, a little bit faster, up-tempo. I would definitely say that. But at the end of the day, man, as a true freshman playing this game, you just got to ball. You got to go out there and play. You can't let anything get in the way. You just got to go do your thing. Was that, was that a tough thing to resonate with you when you were a freshman? Oh, no. Nah. I, I, I feel as if – I went in, I try I ball, you know, do your thing, you know, and life happens. You know, you gotta you got you, you take your bumps in the road, but you learn from them and you keep coming back stronger. And I feel as if sophomore year I came back stronger and junior year I'm about to come back stronger than that. So just 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 keep keep elevating your game, keep growing as a person, keep growing your mental, elevating your grind, and you'll be all right.